Okay, we have loss of exponents. Simulan natin. Review lang ito ng loss of exponents. The first law is power of a power. So, paano gagawin? So, we have x raised to a raised to b. So, meron ka dito yung variable with power, then raised to another power. Yan, tabag ay power of a power. So, gagawin lang dyan, equal na yan sa x raised to a times b. So, multiply lang power dito, ano, multiply. Example tayo. So, we have x quantity raised to 3. Since x is raised to 1, kaya meron ka lang x raised to 1 times 3. So, magkakaroon ka dyan ng x cube. So, pagka ang variable ay wala nakalagay na number na exponent, automatic 1 yun. Ano? Kaya meron tayong x cube. Number 2, we have x squared quantity cube or raised to 3. So, kagaya dito, multiply mo lang a and b. Ang a mo dyan ay 2, ang b mo ay 3. So, meron kang x raised to 2 times 3. Then, we have x raised to 6. So, yan yung power of a power. Number 2, we have product of powers. Sige, sa pangalan ito. Ito naman yung x raised to a times x raised to b. So, we have same variables multiplied with different powers. Ang gagawin lang is x raised to a plus b. Ito yung common error na laging pinagpapalit. Ang dalawa na to. So, ang ginagawa dito, ina-add. Ito naman yung multiply so, Pag meron kang variable, nakaraise sa isang power pa, multiply yung powers nun. So, meron kang same variable, multi mo multiply mo sila, i-add mo lang yung kanilang mga exponents. Kaya, x times a times x raised to b equals x raised to a plus b. Example tayo. We have x squared times x cube. So, dito, pag ito ay mali, ang ginagawa nila dito kagad, x raised to 6. O, yun ang common error dyan. Gagawin dyan is x raised to 2 plus 3. Same variable ka, add mo lang exponent nyan. And we have x raised to 5. Okay, and pangalawa, y raised to negative 4 times y raised to 6. So, same property tayo. y raised to negative 4 plus 6 lang. Kaya, we have y squared. Tandaan yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa. Ano? Ito yun. Ito laging, gina, laging pinagpapalit eh. Pag nakita na iba to, ang sagot kagad nila dito ay x raised to 5. Ito naman, pag nakita na iba, ang nagiging sagot nila ay x raised to 6. O ano mali, laging pinagpapalit yung dalawa na yan. Ulit ha, pag meron kang variable with power, raised pa sa isang power, mumultiply yung powers nila. So, a times b. Ito naman, multiplication to ng dalawang power, x raised to a, x raised to b, i-add mo lang yung kanilang mga exponents sa x raised to a plus b. Tuloy natin. Number three, we have quotient of powers. So, kung gagawin dito? Ito yung x raised to a over x raised to b. Ito yung kahawig ng number two. Na product of powers. So, meron kang x raised to a, nakadivide sa x raised to b. Equal yan sa x raised to a plus b. Ito yung kanyang pinaka-general formula. x raised to a minus b. Sa number 2 kanina, ina-add. x raised to a plus b. Ito subtraction tayo. Pero, ito, meron tat tatlong property pa. Itong una, ina-apply daw yan kapag ka ang a ay greater than b. Para masimplify siya ganang sagot natin. Next, if a is equal to b, so, automatic, meron kang 1. Kasi, kung mo nito, ano? Similar, sabay na may cancel. Kaya, meron tayong 1. Then, 
if A is less than B, so gagawin 1 over X raised to B minus A. So yung tatlong property ng quotient of powers. Pero pwede ka mag-stick sa una, ano ito? Then simplify nyo lang sa huli. Okay, examples tayo. Under A, we have Y raised to 4 over Y cube. So ito yan, ano? Bulayat nyo itong una. Kaya magiging Y raised to 4 minus 3. So equal na sa Y raised to 1 or simply equal to, uh, equal to Y. And for letter B, we have Y cube over Y cube. So magkamuka, dapat siya na equal sa 1. Uh, apply tayo ng formula na ito. ito. Yung tayo sa A minus B. So magkakaroon ka ng Y cube minus uh, Y raised to 3 minus 3. So 3 minus 3 is 0. So we have Y raised to 0. So property, so equal yan sa 1. Okay, meron tayo 1 pa din dito. And for letter C, we have y raised to 4 over y raised to 5. So now, I will go into apply this formula. Ito muna tayo. Ito na mangyayari. So magkakaroon tayo ng y raised to 4 minus 5. Kaya meron akong y, y raised to negative 1. So pag ang exponent ay negative, para siya ay masimplify, ang ginagawa, ganito. Ito kasi yung y raised to negative 1 mo, meron niyan yung radical coefficient na 1. Kaya 1 times y raised to negative 1. Ito nga yung y, gagawin mo siya reciprocal. Magiging 1 over y raised to positive 1 na siya. So guess ang tayo na iba. So meron kang 3 y raised to negative 2. So para siya ay masimplify, okay, simulan natin. So yan kasi i3 times y raised to negative 2. Ito nga yung y raised to negative 2. Para mawala yung kanya negative exponent, kailangan siya i-reciprocal. Magiging 1 over y. Kaya magkakaroon ko ng 3, saka 1 over y squared na siya. So gano'n ko ng positive 2. Then multiply lang itong taas. Ito kasi ay 3 over 1. Kaya 3 times 1, saka 1 times y squared tayo. So, meron kang 3 times 1. Kaya 3 over 1 times y squared. Meron kang y squared. So, we have 3 over y squared. So, ganun yung ginagawa dito sa negative exponent. Then, ito ngayon magiging 1 times 1 over y. Kaya meron ka na lang 1 over y. So, yun yung ating final answer. Now, applying this principle, so magkakaroon tayo ng 1 over y raised to, ayan, b daw muna, b minus a, kaya 5 minus 4. Kaya meron pa rin tayong 1 over y. So, yan yung property ng quotient of powers. Sabihin, pwede mo itong i-apply ito lang. So, yan. Pag nag-0 yun, automatic 1. Pag nag-negative exponent siya, simply pay mo lang siya. Meron pa rin tayong same answer. Next, we have power of a product. So, meron tayong product, xy raised to a. Kaya power yan ng product. So, gagawin lang dyan. O, raise muna isa, x raised to a, then y raised to a. So, yun ang tinatawag na power of a product. Sample. We have the quantity 2xy raised to 3. So, isa-isa lang. 2 cube, x cube, y cube. Ang 2 cube ay 2 times 2 times 2. Kaya meron kang 8 x cube, y cube. Now, for letter B, we have the quantity 3x squared y raised to 4 or raised to 3. So, isa lang muna, kagaya dito. So, meron kang 3, kaya 3 raised to 3. x squared, kaya x squared raised to 3. y raised to 4, and y raised to 4 raised to 3. Then, ayusin natin ang 3 cube. Ibig sabihin niyan ay 3 times 3 times 3. Kasi siya ay 3 cube. Simplifying, yan ay equal sa 27. 
Ito na mga isa. X squared quantity cube. Babalik ka ngayon sa ano? Power of a power. Yun yung x raised to a raised to b. Magiging x raised to a times b. Kaya meron kang x raised to 2 times 3. So magkakaroon ka ng x raised to 6. Same with this variable y. So yan ay y raised to 4 times 3. Kaya meron tayong y raised to 12. So yun yung ating final answer. X, we have power of a quotient. Ang oh, kawig naman siya nung number 4. Kung naging quotient lang. So, meron tayong quotient. X over Y, quantity raised to A. Equal lang yan sa X raised to A over Y raised to A. Nagaya na ginagawa sa product. Sample tayo. X, Y over Z, quantity squared. So, ito muna ang taas. XY squared. Baba, Z squared. Ngayon dito, doon tayo sa power of a product. So, X squared, Y squared. Tapos sa baba, over Z squared. So, ito yung ating final answer. Next, B. 2x cube y cube over z squared quantity raised to 2. Ngayon muna ang taas. 2x cube y cube quantity squared. Ang baba, z squared. Quantity squared pa rin. Then, yun tayo sa power of a product. Sa isa. 2 squared. x cube squared. y cube squared. Over Z squared quantity squared. So, ayan siya. Ito, 2 squared. Ibig sabihin yan, meron kang 2 times 2. Kaya nagkaroon tayo doon ng 4. 2 times 2. Next, itong X cubed quantity squared naman. So, ibig sabihin yan, X raised to 3 times 2. Multiplication tayo ng powers doon. Ito yung power of a power. Kaya meron kang x raised to 6. Then, ito rin, same with x. Equal yun y raised to 3 times 2. Kaya meron kang y raised to 6. Ito then z raised to 2 times 2. Kaya meron tayong z raised to 4. So, yan yung limang property ng loss of exponent. Sa so, dapat inyong tandaan. Na huwag pinagpapalit-palit. No, yan ang kailangan sa multiplication, sa division ng polynomials. Kinagamit sa special products and factoring.